Hello everyone. Before we begin writing any code, it's a good idea to make sure we have the latest versions of Python and Pygame as well. So in this section, we're going to download and install both Python and Pygame for Mac specifically. If you're using a PC, then we've actually done the same thing in a different video. So skip this, go ahead and watch that. It's going to be the same process, just obviously for Windows instead. So we're going to go ahead and open up a new browser. I have Chrome open, but you can open whichever one you'd like. And we're going to start by downloading Python. So simply search for download Python. We're going to click this first link, which is just python slash downloads. And we're going to download version 3.6.5. 2.7.14 is still fine, but it's a little out of date. This has the latest stuff that we need. So we're just going to go ahead and click on this button, and it will download a package type file. Once this is done, simply go ahead and open it. Okay, and we're just going to follow these instructions here, starting with the intro, the readme, and then the history and license to make sure you actually read through this. I'm sure all of you will. Once that's done, we're going to go ahead, click continue, click agree. And then we'll be fine with this location unless you want it to be in a very specific place. Let's just go ahead and install that there. So you'll need to provide your permission. Okay, once that's done, we'll go ahead and install the software. Now, I believe I do have the latest version already, so this should be very quick for me. Otherwise, it should only take about a minute or so for you guys. So I'm just going to pause the recording until this is done. All right, so now that this is finished, uh, this window probably will have popped up, which gives you all of the main pieces of software that are installed with Python 3.6. Obviously, there's a lot of other stuff as well, but just make sure that idle is here, as this is going to be the IDE that we'll be using. Okay, so you can close it up if you want. Just go ahead and click close here. Okay, we can move the installer to trash as we don't need that anymore. And now that we're done, we can download and install Pygame. Now, seeing as we're using Python 3.6, the actual download that we want isn't found on the Pygame site. So if I search for Pygame download and go to Pygame's main download site, I actually don't see the the version that I want. What we'll want is 1.9.3, as this is the latest version. But for Max, the latest version you can download from this site is 1.9.1, and that requires Python 2.7. That's not going to be the one that we'll want, so we'll actually have to do a little bit of work in the terminal. So what I want you to do is go ahead and open up a new instance of the terminal. If you press Command and Space, this will bring up your search window, and we're just going to search for Terminal. Go ahead and click Enter, and it will start a new window here. So um, what you'll want to do is go for Python 3. As we're using Python 3, we want to make sure that this is going to be the version that we'll use. Okay, We're going to go dash m or hyphen, hyphen m. And then we're going to type pip install pygame, capital P, equals, double equals here, 1.9.3. So this is what it will look like in the end. So Python 3 dash m pip install pygame equals 1.9.3. Note the double equals, and you will have to have the pip installed. I think it should be defaulted, it should have been installed by default, but if this command doesn't work for whatever reason, says pip is not a valid command or something, you will need to go ahead and install that. So once we go ahead and click enter, what this will do is it will install the latest version of Pygame into our Python 3 folder. Now for me, because I already have the latest version of Pygame, it actually says requirement already satisfied, but this should just take a few seconds, should show some kind of like installation bar, and it will guide you through the process, should just take a few seconds, and if we want to check to see that that's done, what we can do is go ahead and open up Finder, and it should be saved under Macintosh HD, we'll want to go into Library, into Frameworks, want to go to Python Framework, Versions 3.6, want to go into Library, all the way down to Python 3.6. If we scroll down to Site Packages, and then search for Pygame, it should be Pygame right around here. So there should be a Pygame folder, there should be pygame-1.9.3 dist-info. And if you have these folders, that means the installation was successful. So that is how you get your hands on the latest versions of Python. Again, 3.6.5 is the one that we're using, and of Pygame. We're using 1.9.3 for this, although if you use the slightly earlier versions, it doesn't really matter that much. Now, the next video in this series is, I think, pretty much the same thing for Windows. If you are using a Mac and this went smoothly, you can skip ahead to the next section, which will start to explore the idle environment. Once that's done, we'll move on to Python Basics. and. That is pretty much all the setup that we need for this.